Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Upset supporters of the ruling Jamaica Labour Party protested Tuesday, calling for the removal of St. Anne Northeast Member of Parliament Marsha Smith because of what they say has been her poor representation. Presiding Bishop of the Christian Holiness Church in Jamaica, Dr. Alvin Bailey, says National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang's shoot-to-kill statement is a sign of desperation and he should resign. Last week, Dr. Chang urged members of the security forces to shoot to kill when confronted by gunmen, noting that the country was spending too much to treat criminals at public health facilities. Opposition spokesman on finance Julian Robinson has called for the government to include a referendum ballot to remove King Charles III as Jamaica's head of state in the upcoming local government elections. The municipal polls are constitutionally due by February 2023. 31-year-old Jamaican Tajay Samuels has been charged in the U.S. state of Florida for traveling to have sex with a minor. In August, Mr. Samuels allegedly messaged an undercover agent who was posing as a 14-year-old girl and set up a meeting date. In sports, the Sunshine Girls coaching staff will only have seven players to choose from when they take on host New Zealand in a two-match series that starts on Wednesday. Five members of the squad could not make the trip to New Zealand as they were unable to obtain United States visas. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $152.46, the British pound sterling for $175.93, and the Canadian dollar for $116.70. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers and thunderstorms across the sections of northern and southwestern parishes. And that's it for the Cleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.